जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पादपद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु We were listening to Sri Ram Krishna's explanation on the various planes of existence or the level of consciousness. We usually are accustomed to pass through three levels of consciousness: Jagrat, Swapna, Shushupti. waking dreaming and deep sleep the three states of existence or three levels of consciousness we are passing through every day nature is taking us through that cycle of waking dreaming and deep sleep jagrat swapna shushupti they are unrelated to each other the soul experiences different levels of consciousness entirely different from each other waking is entirely different from deep sleep deep sleep is entirely different from dream state jagrat swapna shushupti they are unrelated but we we pass through similarly these are we are trading back to our own self similarly the consciousness which expands back we go to zero of the external awareness the consciousness i am conscious this consciousness is shrinking to zero and expanding in the universal consciousness in the second stage of deep sleep every day and again we shrink back project fourth our little individual consciousness again manifests the from the con- cosmic consciousness of infinite eternal existence it shrinks back to individual consciousness projects fourth while projecting fourth it pervades the causal body when all memories and identity wakes up activates further i project a little more to pervade the subtle body the mind and senses get awakened further i touch my physical body my consciousness pervades the physical body i come to waking state to see this world the moment i identify with this body this world is there if i detach from this body neither body is there nor the world is there world is related only to my bodily existence it is not related to me that's why the moment i separate it disappears the moment i touch it appears can my consciousness expand further to higher levels of consciousness towards infinity i have shrunk back to zero expanded to infinity in deep sleep again shrunk to zero and projected to my maximum waking consciousness can it go further can it expand then i'd be passing through higher and higher levels of consciousness more and more consciousness more and more of this world more and more reality the absolute reality as we descend down to the earthly level it goes on shrinking 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 to the physical level of world and again can i go back to that infinite existence from where we have descended so this expansion beyond my waking state into the higher levels of consciousness we call samadhi samadhi has various levels of consciousness so from waking state as if it is a center station 
this is just a station. I can go to deep sleep, I can go to the highest level of consciousness of being the absolute existence in which the universe, the entire universe of ours appears and disappears just like I sleep and wake up. Hmm. In that absolute, these levels of consciousness that we pass through to higher, it is something like a quantum. Hmm. It, we jump from quantum, quantum, quantum. It's a quantum. It is not, a, though we pass through, we jump from one station to other, jump from other. We can reduce our speed to have a different minute differences of level of consciousness, observe certain things of this universe. For example, from Manipura, I am going to Anahata. I am entering the realm of Prakriti, nature, from my individual existence of Jiva Tattva, I am entering into the higher level of consciousness, the Prakriti level, then to the absolute level, that is divine level, divinity, nature, my existence. From my existence pervades only Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura. This is my level of consciousness that I can go and come. Beyond that is nature's, where I get the first vision of the Chaitanya. I can experience Chaitanya objectively. Chaitanya manifests for my vision at the heart level, with name and form. Then I go to still higher level, where form is dissolving. From there I enter into the divine realm, an entirely different realm in which the whole universe appears and disappears. First I enter into the Chichakti level of the Jnana center, that is the Agnya Chakra. From there I go to the Absolute, the Shuddha Brahma Tattva. I transcend one by one layer. So, in between, if I retard, if I have that capacity, otherwise I will jump. Just like I wake up, I sleep, I enter into dream. I don't know how I go, what I pass through. I suddenly wake up in dream. From there I enter deep sleep. The three states, in between I cannot exactly how am I slipping from the waking state into dream state, I am not able to trace. Similar situation comes to me when I enter into cervicalpa, nirvikalpa and various, in between the small, small stations are there. If I retire, I can find going from Manipura to Anahata, hmm, from the Prakriti, I am entering into Prakriti level of first quantum, from the base, that is from my existence, Muladhara, Swajishtana, Manipura. This is individual level, individual prakriti, Jiva Tattva. From Jiva Tattva, when I am entering into, I can pass through many things. Uh, from uh, Anahata to Vishuddha. Now, while going to Anahata, that is to get the first vision of the Chaitanya, in between, there is a level of consciousness where I see the Jivatmas who have left the body and traveling to another new body. They are just like small tiny comets of blue color with white light as the tail, like comet. It moves from, it is, you see them various Jivatmas moving one slowly in one direction, another fast. They are moving in different speeds and different directions. They are going to different bodies. They have left one body and going to the another body. This vision you can have. Like that, some, but they are all quantum. It is not slowly in quantum physics. The Einstein's important discovery is the energy released 
by every atom, by the nature and the absorption that happens between the matter and energy, energy and matter is always in particular definite quantum. This is quantum basis of quantum theory. It happens in quantum. It is not, you cannot small, small, as you want, you cannot have energy. Hmm. When matter precipitates, energy precipitates into matter or matter dissolves into energy, it is always in the particular quantum. This, like that, we have this quantum jumps, not gradual movements, seeing the sightseeing and going. But there are things, but the, what you experience as you go to higher level is more and more freedom, more and more light, more and more understanding, more and more joy, more and more peace. Everything is becoming, you are becoming towards fulfillment. You are moving towards fulfillment every moment, paripurnata. You are moving from the now bound state of existence towards freedom. Hmm. From bound state to freedom, from bandhana to mukti, towards mukti. From little earthly joys of life and happiness, we move towards bliss, ananda. And from sukha to ananda. This ananda is infinite. The ananda goes on expanding. It doesn't limit. It goes on expanding. So, what you experience is more and more joy coming up. Here, it is a momentary joy. In the world, whatever you enjoy, it is a momentary joy. Uh, it is released, you enjoy it, and there is a long gap for another to experience. It is, you cannot have continuous unbroken joy. Unbroken peace you cannot have. It is fluctuating, everything is changing, it is a constantly changing flux, universe is a constant changing flux and I am there in this universe in the waking state as a part of it. So I am undergoing constant changes within me. So when I evolve to higher level of consciousness, I get more and more freedom, more and more joy, more and more peace. That means I am moving towards, constantly moving towards fulfillment, paripurnata. I am moving towards paripurnata. This is, this stages Sri Ramakrishna is explaining what, how it be, how that experiences will be there. Uh, the fifth plane of mind is throat. When the mind reaches this, the aspirant becomes free from ignorance and delusion. First, uh, while coming down from the absolute, first uh, beginning of that ignorance, the cover is, the veil of ignorance is going to cover that jiva. It is sitting one with mother and the veil is being put. There is nothing, no duality. There is no world. There is no body. The Jeevatman is one with the Paramatman. Now the veil slowly appears and this first veil of coverance makes him see Akasha, Akasha Tattva. Even in Puranas, the Brahma appears on the lotus. Lotus is represented, uh, representation of always consciousness, Chaitanya. In the ocean of Chaitanya, a projection of Chaitanya, the Brahma is supposed to appear. Just like Jiva in the Prakriti, he appears in the Absolute. Now, how that manifestation? He sees with his coming up, his appearance, there is Akasha. Akasha and he projects together. 
He sees the Akash. What for am I here? Who am I? Where from I came? What is this place? Same thing happens to the jiva. It is at cosmic level, this is at individual level. When we descend from the absolute mamai vamsho jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana manashashtani mamai vamsho I am the spark of Lord, the cosmic consciousness, Vishwa Chaitanya. I am individual consciousness, a spark of the cosmic consciousness. From Paramatma, I am a spark of Paramatma as Jivatma. So this spark that comes into, as, as it is becoming self-conscious of I am, is coming with the universe, space, Akasha Tattva. It is coming with the Akasha Tattva. First layer of ignorance, the veil of ignorance has covered his real nature. The eye is appearing with space, Akasha. The last to live is that Akasha Tattva. After that ignorance, the veil is removed. While going back, the veil is removed. The veil is removed and he is in the realm of the divine. From nature, the realm of nature, the jurisdiction of nature, I am entering into the realm of the spirit, Chaitanya. Hmm. So I am entering into divine, world of divine, the realm of divine, the realm of prakriti, realm of jivatma, bodily existence. I enter into bodily existence and identify with the body. I transcend the bodily limits. I merge in the nature and view the Chaitanya. As long as I am away from, I am not in tune with nature, I am not, I have become one with nature as a part, inseparable part of nature in my awareness and understanding. It is a realization. When I enter into Anahata, I am detaching myself entirely from the bodily existence. Uh, just like I, when I enter, I totally dissociate from the bodily existence. In Samadhi also, body is sitting there, it is not sleeping because I am entering into higher consciousness. You know, I am sleeping when I enter into dream because I am going to the lower level of consciousness, towards the zero to expand from within. Here I am expanding my consciousness, so body remains sitting firmly as it was. The consciousness has expanded, not left the body, but pervaded and gone beyond. Now the, my awareness has left the bodily existence and become aware of the nature. The moment I become aware of the nature, now I am aware of nature as I am seeing nature independent of me. When I enter into the realm of Prakriti, when I enter into Anahata Chakra, when I cross the Manipura Chakra, I see you, this one, Prakriti, I enter where varieties and form has dissolved. Nama Rupa has dissolved. Rupa has dissolved and Prakriti is there. And I am a part of Prakriti. Here I am separate from Prakriti, absorbing Prakriti. That is why Nama Rupa Guna is there. When I enter into Anatha Chakra, this Nama Rupa disappears and the light which has lit the universe and made it appear as universe, that light, light is there. That is the light we see. The moment Nama Rupa goes away, Nama Rupa Guna and Kriya movements goes away, what I see is entirely different thing. 
I see light. That is the light which Sri Ramakrishna says. She sees a new light and wonders, what, what am I? What am I? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, this Nama Roop of the I, world has not disappeared. The Nama Roop has dissolved. Guna has dissolved. Kriya has dissolved. No movement. There is light and light alone. And I am a part of that light which is which I am seeing as Prakriti. I have entered into Prakriti. I am observing Prakriti as a part of Prakriti. The moment I become a part of Prakriti, I can see the Chaitanya. Because still I am at the lower level of Prakriti. It is not in the, as the Chit Shakti, as the Vishwa Shakti she is there. And I am identifying, I can see the Roop of Devata, Ishta Devata, the Absolute, the Vishwa Chaitanya, the Cosmic Consciousness manifests with form there. This is Savikalpa Samadhi. If it appears with form, because I am aware of form and because I am at the root of the Prakriti, the forms of the world is missing, but the form of God manifests. When the moment the form of the world disappears, the form of the God appears. It can happen even in the waking state when the, all this in the ecstatic love of God, all this universe becomes stagnant. As if it is a painting and no movements anywhere. It has become still. Then I see God appearing in physical form in front of me, pertaining physical his physicality he is pertaining to this universe. Like physical, I am a body, he is a body. But all other Nama Rupa Kriya has become stagnant because of my love. It makes God manifest at the physical level, gross physical level. This is the vision of God at the gross physical level that we have. Other is entering into, when I come to the Anatha, I am entering into the realm of Prakriti, being one with Prakriti, I am viewing the form of the Ishvara, the Lord of the universe. Here we see, this is the fourth plane which Sri Ramakrishna says earlier, and now fifth is the Anatha here, where the form dissolves. The fifth plane of mind is at throat. When the mind reaches this, the aspirant becomes free from ignorance and delusion. The veil which was put there to descend down to Vayu Tattva and lay layer by layer to the lowest of Prakriti, Prithivi Tattva at Muladhara, to come to the Muladhara. I am going back, the first veil, the last veil of ignorance while going, while coming down, first veil of ignorance, that veil of ignorance is detached, is dissolves, and I enter into the, because veil is there, I don't know it is there. Veil makes me know nothing beyond that veil. I can see the veil, but not beyond. When veil is removed, I see the beyond. I don't no more see the veil. So, when the veil falls off at the uh, throat level, hmm, and then I see the light of the Absolute. The the aspirant becomes free from ignorance and delusion. Ignorance is veil, illusion is presentation of the world. It is like the Avarna Shakti and Vikshepa Shakti. Uh, ignorance has two powers to veil or cover the reality and project something else in that place. The covering of the reality is called Avarna Shakti. It is the power of the ignorance. It covers the reality and there 
another thing projects. Hmm. When a person in Mandhantakara, uh, dim light, uh, sees a rope as snake, the ignorance, he does not know that it is a rope and suddenly he sees it is in the same form as snake. He immediately thinks it is a snake. The moment he thinks, sees it, he, th he is ignorant of the reality, it is ignorance of the reality that it is rope. This ignorance has covered the uh, rope and projected there a snake. The covering part of the ignorance, I am ignorant, ignorant of the reality that it is rope. This ignorance has two powers. It has covered the rope and projected a snake there. This is that which covers the reality is called the Avarna Shakti and one that projects the snake is called Vikshepa Shakti. Ignorance has two powers, Avarna Shakti and Vikshepa Shakti. The Avarna Shakti covers and here illusion and other is even the raises to ignorance and illusion. The ignorance is what covers, illusion is what projects. The world is projected. The neither world is there nor the ignorance that covers the reality is there anymore in the heart. So, he does not enjoy talking or hearing about anything but God. Uh, his whole awareness is filled with divine and divine alone. His awareness is filled with divine and divine alone. He is not able to relish anything now. He cannot enjoy anything. Anybody talking to, um, talking about anything worldly or anything unrelated to God, he is not able to uh, receive it. He is not able to accommodate that because it is filled with the divine. Awareness is filled with divine. Uh, anything if you put it to the fill, a bottle is filled with water and you want to put a pencil inside. If you put pressure and book it will again come up, again, again it will come up. Uh, it will not f float or dissolve or enter inside. Hmm. So, it pushes back, it throws away, it does not accept. Hmm. It does not enjoy talking or hearing about anything but God. People talk about worldly things, he leaves that place at once. People he are talking about worldly things. Oh, this is not uh, what uh, I can understand, I can grasp I, what I want. Hmm. Uh, it is uh, something like, it is not a kind of rejection or anything. It is a natural state wherein the things are given up. Now, a moth looks at the light, it refuses to go into the darkness. You keep sweet meat or anything what it likes there, it does not go. It has seen light, it is not refusing, it is not throwing away, it does not, it is not running away or anything. Because that attraction is more powerful than the darkness, it refuses to go there. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu